We took our cameras to the maximum security prison for the first televised sit-down interview with now 18-year-old Warren. In his own words, he tells us what happened that terrible, terrible day. I was having a 22-year sentence for murder. He was a homeless guy. Me and buddies were just hanging out, smoking weed, drinking. We went to the woods. We had uh, found him. We ended up beating him and stomped on him with a log. The log was placed on his stomach and I jumped on him. I weighed 290 pounds. He weighed 115 pounds. I didn't feel bad right at first. But when I found out he died, that's when I felt bad about it. During questioning, when asked if he felt bad while attacking Roberts, Warren said no. And now after serving one year of his 22-year sentence for second-degree murder, he says it was a senseless act and that he wishes it never happened. His mom, Lori, says he just fell in with a bad crowd. Warren's a good kid. He just got caught up in something that was horrible. I made a bad choice of friends. I don't know why I hung out with them. I like the things they uh, do, smoking, drinking, partying. I believe that he was caught up with the wrong crowd. Warren gives us an inside look into prison life, and his mom, Lori, says her son just doesn't belong behind bars. This mom was caught on tape visibly upset, understandably, about her son's daily life. Get nothing. He is locked in his cell all day long. He goes to lunch, he goes to breakfast, and he goes to dinner. He gets nothing, no schooling, nothing. Prison has changed my son. He tells me what goes on there. And it's not a pretty thing. Prison's not a good place for teenagers at all. I've been here almost a year now. We've been at 18 more years. A lot of crazy stuff going on, a lot of violence. Can't do what you want to do, trapped in one spot. Can't spend time with your relatives or friends. Not being able to be with my family be the worst part. I go down there every other weekend to make sure my son's okay. I like to be an inspirational speaker for troubled teens. If I could change one kid's life, that'd mean a lot. I feel like I've done something good for all the bad I've done. You're saying he goes to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then sits in a cell. I mean, isn't that what prison is? Yes, it is. Um, do you think he should be out? I think my son needs help. I think he deserves to be punished, yes. But when you talk about four teens beating that man, they went there three times. My son was there once, the very last time. My son tried to stop them from killing this man. He pulled one of the kids off of him and told him, stop, you're going to kill this man. One of the things I think needs to happen is we need to be realistic. You say he was trying to pull kids off of him. In his own words, he said, the man weighed 115, I weigh 290. I put a log on him and stomped him to death. In his statement that he would made to the police, the log was placed on the man and he jumped on the side of the log. That is what is in his statement. He jumped on the side of the log, not on the man's chest. 